Okay, great. We've got everything taken out of the bag now. It's kind of our little assembly area here. It's always a good thing to do. I think in the business it's called a staging area. So we're in our staging area. We've got our four square block and the grip or handle, right? This is a 5 8 to 3 8 stud adapter. It's going to screw into the bottom of the four square handle, like that. Here's our Manfrotto double ball head. It's right on there. Tightens down. Here's our Bogan super clamp. Fits right in there. Tightens down. Has the jaw here, right? That's going to clamp to the catwalk, right, when we're ready for that. And then we can start putting the Nikon SB900 speed lights. They slip right into the slot. I use the lock that Nikon has on their speed light. And then there's also a screw lock underneath it, so you're double protected there, which is nice. Another one. Lock, screw. Okay, we've got everything assembled now. Here are the radio receivers. This is the Radio Popper PX receiver. Now I happen to own one for every speed light. That way I can separate these speed lights to do other kinds of projects. But for today, uh, all of them are in a cluster right around the four square. I don't necessarily have to own four of these. I can actually own one of the receivers. I can mount it in the front, just like that. And this receiver has a product made by Michael Bass, michaelbassdesign.com, and it connects to the, trans, uh, to the receiver and then has four cables, fiber optic cables that split off of it and end up uh, uh, connecting uh, to the sensors on the speed lights. Right here on the side, so we've got four fiber optic cables. That way, I only really have to make the investment of one radio popper. It's a little bit lighter, but now they have to remain in some kind of cluster because they're only, they, they can't be more than a few inches, you know, six, eight inches away or something. But this gives us one handheld unit, which I might also add, even though we're going to light an arena today, which is, you know, a hockey arena, I could use this outside for, for uh, track and field. I could use it at uh, bicycle uh, races. I could use it at motocross. I could have an assistant holding this out there, and I could be 100 feet away photographing and then popping in some light on my subject with a handheld uh, uh, unit like this. The four square, the handle or grip, radio popper, Michael Bass's device which allows me to split into four speed lights. They'll be triggered via the SU-800 Commander and just the single radio popper transmitter. Fits there. That's going to fit on, whoa, don't have my camera anymore. That's going to fit on, the, that's going to fit right onto the hot shoe of my camera and then I can adjust all my power levels right from the back of the SU-800, which is great.